It's been a finish packed night. And if these guys want to make the playoffs, they're going to have to seek out finishes and points. There's the tail of the tape. Rashid Magomedov, 35 years old. 35 is a good time to hang it up from fighting, you know? Or a good time to start. Or just a good time to start, depending on who you ask. Either way, he's seven years the senior of Loic Rajabov of Tajikistan. Also a slight reach advantage in both the arms and the legs for Rashid Magomedov. Lightweights again. Lillian Garcia inside of our PFL Smart Cage. Get us started. And now the action continues in the lightweight division. This is scheduled for three rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a wrestler, standing at five feet eight and weighing in officially at 156 pounds. He is undefeated at 11 and 0 with 10 wins by stoppage. Fighting out of Dujon. standing at 5 feet 9, weighing in at 155 pounds, with a professional record of 22 victories, 3 defeats, and 1 draw. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of Dagestan, Russia, here is Rashid Goretz Magomeda! Your referee in charge, Steve Rita. Once again, up to six points on the line for the lightweights here. Rashid Magomedov in the silver shorts. Loic Rajabov in the red. A touch of the gloves. I'm very curious to see how Rashid Magomedov starts out season two because he felt, Randy, like he got robbed in season one in those finals. Big leg kick here from Rashid. And a front kick. Big hook and a followed it with a right hand that just missed for Rajabov. Switching stances here. Big slapping body kick there. Already hunting these two lightweights. I tell you what, Rajabov is not bashful about throwing that hook. He's not. We're not seeing any sign of wrestling here. These guys are going to duke it out. Well, Magomedov got a decent wrestling background, but he fancies himself more of a striker or boxer as that knee to the body lands. And now some wrestling from Loic Rajabov. Got the back up against the cage here. Randy, you know anything about dragging people to the mat from this position? Not a thing. <laughs> This is actually the best opportunity. Ooh, nice. Nice scramble oh, standing there. Standing Gramby by Magomedov. Beautiful Gramby roll. Body shot from Magomedov. Digging for the liver. There's the jab. And these lightweights already, fellas, with this action, answering the call. They're seeing the fights that happened already tonight. They know they need to get points if they want to make the playoffs. Everything Magomedov throws is straight down the pipe, and everything Razidov throws is a hook, a big hook. Another body shot from Magomedov. Maybe money in the bank. Oh, oh, big hook lands. Is that a stumble? What a short left hook. Caught him off balance, I think. I think that check hook really checked him. <laughs> Uppercut just misses for Louis Rajabov. The hook reaching out again. These guys are willing to exchange the big winging punches. Rashid has really good vision, and he, he's slipping these punches on the inside and landing his short shot. Eve, if you're the more technical striker, is it a good idea to get drawn into these big winging exchanges? Well, no, it's not. And Rashid doesn't get drawn in. He he lets. He, it looks like he's in he's in an exchange, but it's actually him him putting money in the bank. He's he's getting the most out of those exchanges on the inside because he's slipping punches and and blocking shots. But he's landing short, small things that we don't even see as really being so effective. But they add up. I, it's a lot like what you did against Vinny Magalhaes. You can talk about that as much as you want, Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Body kick explored there again for Rashid. There's a double leg. Megamedov. 
Right back to his feet is Loic Rajabov. Somebody's mouthpiece came out. I think it was Rashid's. I could be wrong, though. Nice counter by Rajabov to, to not get taken down. Moved his feet well, scrambled out of there. Got his hips back. Beautiful. And he works his back off the cage. Quick break to replace the mouthpiece of Jaguar Paw in the red shorts. Oh, nice combination there from Magomedov. And the hook lands for Rajabov. Couple of shots there, there by Rashid. Magomedov is so accurate. You talk about money in the bank, those leg kicks, they pay dividends later, don't they, Eve? Yes, they do. The leg kicks, the body shots, and, and although, you know, we fight for, well, the fighters here in the Professional Fighters League fight for points, Magomedov putting money in the bank, that stuff adds up. We saw it work for Chris Curtis two weeks ago. There's that Uchimata attempt from Loic Rajabov. We saw that be successful earlier. Nice movement there by Rashid Magomedov to avoid a four-punch combo. Good head movement. He keeps his eyes open on the inside. You know, he doesn't lose sight, put his head down, and, and just try to avoid punches with hope. Come, so smooth and, and calm and composed. Exactly. And that's that, that that's telltale of a, of a good striker. Body kick there from Magomedov. Now we're finally seeing a jab from Rajabov. Big right hand and a hook, but great movement and elusiveness again for Magomedov. Inside of 10 seconds left here in round number one. A lot of action as these two lightweights go at it, looking for six points. Well, it won't be six points, but a great first round. Tough to call that one. Absolutely tough, and I, and I, have, I eke it out for Rashid Magomedov. The, the little off-balancing shot that put uh, <laughs> Loic on the ground is probably the difference. Yeah, Rashid, Rashid was able to keep the distance, and although Rashid's backing up, like, look, lands a beautiful kick to the body, but watch Rashid's eyes. That's what I want you guys to watch the entire time on these replays. He keeps his eyes open, keeps his eyes on his opponent, even though he's squinting when he's throwing it and avoiding shots, keeps his eyes open so he can see what's coming out of him, at him, get out of the way, and counter. Beautiful striking on the inside of Rashid Megamano. Really impressive display of head movement as well. Defensive, evasive, with big shots winging his way from Malik Rajabov, who appears to be maybe the more aggressive fighter. I'd love to see the Cajunomics here on who's landing more. I also believe it's going to be harder for, for Rashid to be taken down because the way he's backing up, he's backing up with footwork, he's keeping that distance. He's keeping the distance perfectly, and he's not letting Rajabov get in and, and, and Framing him up against the wall where he can attack those legs. Well, it's round two. We haven't seen round two much tonight here <laughs> in professional fighters league action. Ooh, jab hook. That there's was a our, nice jab hook. There's our Cajunomics numbers there. You can see the total strikes landed nearly even between these two gentlemen. Another hook searching for Luik Rajabov. Catches a kick. Great balance by Magomedo. Oh, another great body kick. Solid one. He's landed 10 kicks, I think about four of them on the body of Luik Rajabov. Look at that head movement and footwork by Magomedov. I mean, good job, beautiful work. Not allow allowing himself to be trapped and pinned against the fence. But Rajabov finally gets in there. Let's see this wrestling. Don't grab his shorts. Don't throw the shorts. Down on the single here. Beautiful. Nice elevation. Nice balance. Wow. Rashid Megamedov did a nice job of countering and coming right back to his feet. I was not willing to concede any takedown. Yeah, beautiful technique by both men. We talk about it all the time, fellas. Rashid doesn't necessarily fancy himself a wrestler by Dagestani standards, but he's training with a bunch of guys who are really, really built in that area. So, the thing about Rashid Megamedov, I've trained with him. I see. And I like to consider myself a pretty decent wrestler. I have not scored one single takedown on Rashid Magomedov. Nice aggression here from Rajabov. But again, Rashid Magomedov just slips and rolls and finds himself out of danger. Here's our smart cage, Cajunomics fight tracker. 
Rashid Magomedov, for most of this fight, has actually circled around the outside of that indicator line. Oh, a nice trip there from Magomedov. That's twice he's done that. A little outside trip. Well, a lot of this fight is taken around the outside of the cage for both fighters. 60, 70 percent of the fight is happening on the edge of the, around the fence. And usually it's Radzibov pressing, but Rashid is is using his footwork to as a as a defense also. So although he's backing up, he's backing up to create space to land punches, and, and he's not losing because he's backing up. He's actually affecting good offense as he's running. Head movement, unbelievable. Right? Great, unbelievable head movement defense here by Rashid Magomedov. And aggression from Rajabov that is not necessarily paying off yet. As an aggressive striker, I can tell you that gets extremely frustrating. Rajabov has literally unloaded the kitchen sink on this guy and either missed or had no effect. You see there at the bottom of your screen on the right-hand corner, Luis Rajabov coming off a 17-month layoff appears to be in great shape. And Randy, you know better than I do that this style of fighting, mixing up the strikes and wrestling and back the strikes, it's as exhausting as you can do it in here. It absolutely torrential pace, both these guys, very effective. Furious exchange there, and he just misses for Magomedov. Look at Magomedov on the inside here. Rolling with punches and getting his head out of the way, hiding that chin behind his shoulders. I mean, doing everything that you're supposed to do defensively as a boxer using that boxing effectively in mixed martial arts. And those little gloves, that's hard to do, but he's making it work. And to your point from earlier, Eve, eyes wide open the whole time. Yeah, you've got to see what's coming. You can't avoid that shot if you can't see it. Nice front kick there from Magomedov. Head kick. Spinning heel kick. And a front kick again, Rashid Magomedov mixing it up with the strikes here in round two. Big winging right hand for Rajabov and a left hook and an uppercut, but they all missed because of the head movement of Magomedov. Nice, nice trip again. again. Jinx you me. All right. <laughs> Great minds thinking alike here next to this PFL smart cage. The body shot almost landed on the head there from Magomedov. Overhand right just misses. Low calf kick. Rajabov is a terminator, just continues to move forward. He's absorbing a lot. Nice right hand. Oh, he threw a hook kick to the head. Oh, look at that. Hook kick it up. Karate on display. Nice spinning back kick. And that landed. Mago Madoff digging for the liver with the spinning back kick. That's a nightmare, I'll tell you. Overhand right misses for Luik Rajabov. Round two in the books. Keep stirring the pot. It's been a wild night already here at PFL 2 on Long Island as we get set for round three. This has been a phenomenal fight between Rashid Magomedov, a finalist from last year in the silver, and the week Rajabov from Tajikistan, a PFL newcomer. A hook and a right hand from him. I think Rajabov's got his work cut out for him in this round. I've, I have him down two rounds to, to none, so he's definitely going to make something happen in this third round. I agree with Randy on that one. Searching for some knees here against the cage is Rajabov. Great counter wrestling already from Rashid Magomedov so far. He's actually taken Rajabov down a few times with that, that little nifty foot trip. Yep. Rajabov finding his way back to the feet immediately, but those still score on the judges' cards in a close fight like this one. It's also strange to me that Magomedov is not following him down there. He doesn't seem to want to test his ground game or test his, his top control, test his top control against, against Rajabov. Nice work here by Magomedov, putting his opponents back against the cage. Grabs a single. For a high single here, Rashid Magomedov. Going through the pull. Rabatov off the cage and dump him. Action slowing just a little bit here. It's been a frenetic pace so far, but 
you can always count on Rajabov to leap in with a big right hand or a hook. <laughs> he is relentless. He just keeps coming forward. That left counter hook landed. The check hook. Nice head movement there by Rajabov. Takedown attempt stuffed by Rashid Magomedov. But that works for a throw. Magomedov with double underhooks. Trying to get his hips in front. Twist Rajabov to the ground, but Rajabov's balance is good enough to counter and stay out. You can see the volume of strikes thrown by last year's finalist Rashid Magomedov. He's thrown over 100. He's landed seven, 70, excuse me, of those. And the power shots are really what I like to read. Uh, heading into this round, Magomedov was nearly doubling the production in power punches from Luik Rajabov. Halfway through round number three, still potentially a one extra bonus point for the winner on the line. We've seen some big finishes already tonight. Oh, front kick to the face. Spinning back kick just misses for Rajabov. There's that little question mark kick again with the lead leg. Ooh, left, left hook there by Rajabov. Rashid Magomedov just makes him miss with distance. Um, Rajabov is just falling short, like an inch short when he throws these big hooks. Beautiful wizard. Wow, great wizard there by Rashid Magomedov to stay on his feet. Time running out here for Rajabov. If the judges are seeing it the same way I'm seeing it. Yeah. I should always qualify that statement. <laughs> Sometimes never know. But. A little support for Loic Rajabov in the crowd here. A chant of Loic, Loic. He is undefeated coming into tonight. Perfect 11 and 0. Look at that takedown defense. That balance. balance. Yeah, that balance is amazing. It's all about balance. Spinning back kick from Rashid Magomedov. Takes the double. Another level change. Trying to keep Rajabov off balance. Nice little exchange there. Right hand landed for Rashid Magomedov. And uh, we've seen Rajabov slowing down a little bit, not moving forward as much as he was in the first two rounds. Looks like Magomedov may be turning it up a little bit here with the final 30 seconds of the fight, hoping for that one extra bonus point. Double leg takedown. Nice level change, drives through, bounces him off the fence to finish. Right into the half guard is Rashid Magomedov. Shoulder pressure. 15 seconds to go here in round number three between these two lightweights. And look at those Cajunomics numbers. Strikes everywhere. Rashid Magomedov will finish on top and will be back with an official decision here on ESPN2. Well, it's been an action-packed night here on Long Island so far. This one went the distance, but the pace was furious and frenetic. And the boxer, Magomedov, mixed it in with his legs here, Randy. Absolutely. Head movement, beautiful control of distance, and mixing up the kicks from high to low, mid, uh, and the punches as well. Spinning, I mean, he showed us a little bit of everything. Let's talk about his wrestling here, Eve. Rashid Magomedov was a finalist last year, and I think we saw why. Yeah, I mean, this takedown defense is, is perfection. Um, very good balance. He also controls with distance, so like that's 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 really the two key points to finish to defending takedowns, distance and balance. Lillian Garcia is inside the cage. She has the judge's official decision here. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored the bout 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision, earning three points in the lightweight division, Rashid Gorets Magomeda! Yeah.
this. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No. 